Look at the rain coming down. It's raining again, but I'm out, which is quite cool. Let's get under. So, we've got some new poles and ground dwelling, and the weather's been all over the place. Now, a lot of people's tarps are lovely and dry, but mine are way wet, which I don't mind to be honest, because it's going to, you know. The way I see it, it's naturally going to dry, or it's naturally going to get wet, because it's absolutely chucking it down. But there we go. So we're out again. I haven't been out for a while. I'm at a community camp. It's nice to be back. Andy. There's two Craigs at this group. One Craig you know, Pagan, and the other Craig, which I have been camping with before. So, it's his birthday Sunday. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to have a load of meat, but we're actually having that tonight. He's brought a load of meat for us all to have, so should be a meat feast. Excellent. Craig's birthday with meat and rice. By, uh... <laughs> That's ridiculous. Jesus. Smoky Joe. One word, right? More in all, what a fantastic sleep. Amazing. I actually woke up about six o'clock and then decided to go back to sleep. So I didn't get up till about nine in the end. So I'll show you the setup. Got a little bug net there. Only a little cheap one. It's it's alright. The only downside is sun there's a bit of gap in, in here. Which I'm not really happy about. It's a bit of a gap. But that said, it does press down and, and the mosquitoes actually been that bad. New tent poles. They're yeah, quite good actually from Amazon. Got them at an angle and I brought some more guy ropes. So got it a slight dip. There's a bit of bird poo on there today. They've been attacking me during the night. Well not attacking me, attacking me top. They're really look, little buggers. Never mind. It's dried out nice though. Imagine how wet it was yesterday and all that rain. But it didn't rain so bad last night. I would have noticed anyway because I was fast off. My breakfast. Got um, some bread, some coffee and porridge. What do you reckon? Not bad. A bit more. A bit more. Yeah. We're on the end. Just in general, just I think you've maybe slightly done one side a bit more than the other. They have, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Need to carry on on this side. Use it harder than me as well. You do it a lot harder than I do, then, Because where it was when I started, it was like, well, that's what Andy was his stories going about. There was no bridge cross. No edge to it at all. It was just this is quite sharp, but it's nice to open. Eating it's like a. I mean, the top of the top of the skill sessions and. I'm always wearing it as well because it's the carving. You want to get the shop and get to them little Everyone nitty gritty bits, don't you? There's different things. Getting you to. I can't understand one more about it. No. I'll have a look at yours. That's getting there.
give it one more go on that side and then they'll be about it at the end of the tip, do you reckon? Yeah. You look. You did, you did, but don't worry. If you look at the end of the blade, this face was saying something that I'm not on the edge, you can actually see where it's a bit brighter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right on the very tip. And that's obviously that, where you've sharpened it and yeah. polished it up. It's good. Oh, lesson in sharpening with a sharpening stone. And somebody just dropped that, yes, and afterwards. They was doing a bit of stropping as well, so that was absolutely epic. Fantastic. New skill, learnt. Well, learned, whatever. It was, he was done. It was good. There's your loop, then you go over the loop, like that up, and under the loop, and then come together. So, yep, yeah, I made that with instruction, <laughs> and it's got a little fire stool in the bit. A fire still, and a little hang, hang to hang around my neck, and that just clips off. Look at that then. What do you call it? Um, oh yes. You know, like, um, see my draw cord come out, and yeah. I lost it, and I wouldn't replace it. I could put that and through here. Like I've gone fast asleep, and I'm not kidding. It's like four seasons in one day. It was even hailing at one point. You can hear the rain, but the sun's out as well. It's it's weird. Absolutely weird. Think up on the birthday boy. <laughs> birthday boy, isn't it? Our old year 148. 21 again. 21 again. This weather though, isn't it? It's been bloody. What oh, would you call? <laughs> Four seasons in a day, hail. <laughs> It's been it's mad. Only yesterday, wasn't they? Yeah. Crazy. And the wind. It was really windy at one point. Oh, it was ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Short weather now. <laughs> come up with a concoction with that lot. Call it chicken cum nettle cum pot noodle ish. Here we go. It's an ish. Yes guys, you know what time it is? It's beer tree time. We're off to the beer tree. Now, the beer today is from the Midlands. Now I'm from the Midlands, so it's my sort of beer. From Nottinghamshire, today I'm in Lincolnshire. We're on the borders of Lincoln and Nottinghamshire. So, Midlands time beer. Oh yes, check it out. Andy. Good old trusty beer tree. Strictly lager. Black hole. That used to be a film back in my day. Midnight oil. Oh, it's a Castle Rock. That's very local. That's Nottinghamshire. That's from Nottingham beer, that is. Not my favourite, I have to be honest, but there we go. American Rail Ale from Brom, Birmingham, Birmingham. Sorry, you Birmingham people. An antique brew. Oh, yes. Okay. So, okay, we're going to have. A Brum Ale, one from Birmingham, 4.2, American Rail Lager, bit of a fizzy one, is it a slipper or is it a slurper, let's find out.
That's a slurper. Official slurper. Oh, yes. Andy. Andy. Oh, yes. From Birmingham. Yes, you brummy people. You've done it again. Yes, you have. Thanks for watching the beer tree. Back to the night. Done it. Done it. Yes. The fairies. The fairies. The fairies. The fairies. The fairies have given it colour. I hope they it's right. I dropped it right in the Rainbow. <laughs> Rainbow. Rainbow. Yeah, That's, That's pretty cool. Pete Pagan's still here. Yeah, I'm still here. But the weather's been a bit weird, hasn't it? It's, yeah, it's been just getting, uh, misty, isn't it? It's strange. A bit misty, bit of rain, bit of sun. Not too cold though. But you seen that fire earlier on, it was like a glowing effect. Didn't you say you could try that with magnesium as well? They do magnesium shavings. Yeah, it's so, pretty cool. It's a nice night though. We'll see. Right, anyway. Still gonna carry on. There's a madhouse down at the fire. They're absolutely yeah. off their nut. <laughs> yeah. That's some proper can't video, talks. Can't video much of that. <laughs> Not for YouTube, anyway. Not for YouTube, it wouldn't work. No. So, I'm out a bit later tonight. A night fire in the rain. Under the parachute. It was just me and my mate Dave. And we're just sitting there having a chill. We had a good night. It's absolutely shitting it down now. But to be honest been entertaining because the weather's just been all over the shop i've must have said it about 10 times tonight about the weather but it's just been a bit weird about five seasons in one day is not is not an exaggeration at all heat coming off that beautiful morning people good night's sleep fantastic even god it rained last night torrential proper proper come down and it was non-stop either it just keep going and going and going and going and arist on and on and on that's how it was it was going mental the rain was proper coming down the water look along there the little channels of water there look it's all damp on the ground and then you come back and it's day like this again. Here's my breakfast, a porridge again. And I got my cup and what are these New York coffees from the pound shop. And they're bloody lovely, caramel ones. Everything's set there ready for the go. And I like this little stump here. Well, don't get any ideas. So, why not watch another one of my videos? Go and watch. Okay, Andy.